But the good news today is you don't have to go to hell. You don't have to be judged for your sins. Ma'am, sir, I don't know, but you're putting the window up on the preacher. You're going to die one day and you're going to bear your judgment if you don't get right with God. You can say you don't believe in God till you're blue in the face. The Bible says a fool says in their heart there is no God. You look around and creation itself testifies to a holy and righteous God. Just people want to live in rebellion. They want to live in their iniquity. The Bible says that this is the condemnation. That the light has come into the world. And men they love darkness rather than light. Because their deeds are evil. Men they don't come to God because they love the darkness. They love their iniquity. People don't come to God because they want to continue in their life of sin. They want to live their life without God. But at the end of their life, it will have an eternal consequence. If you continue to live on in darkness, rejecting the salvation of God, living in your rebellion, my friends, you are going to die and you are going to be judged as a sinner. And your judgment is going to be forever. And today you don't have to die as an enemy of God. You don't have to die as an enemy of God. Repent, lady. Repent. We have wicked people that have angry hearts out here. They have a lot of wicked people in this world. They don't like the truth of God's word. But there is a time coming where you're going to help be held accountable for every word that you have spoken. Every idle word will be brought up in the day of judgment. And by your words you will be justified or by your words you will be condemned. And my friends, knowing the terror of the Lord, we are out here to preach to you the truth so that you can be convicted, so that you can wake up out of spiritual sleep land and come to God so that you can be saved from the judgment that is to come. For well, it's going to be a fearful thing to stand before a holy and righteous God. It's going to be a fearful thing for all people who die without the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have people out here, they're just living in pornography, they're living in drunkenness, they get high, they get drunk, they pervert their minds with perversion, and they live in rebellion and debauchery. And my friends, I'm warning you today that you're going to stand before God and you're going to give an account. And God has said to be holy, for he is holy. Sir, if you are just living your life for yourself and you don't care nothing about the Lord, you're going to stand before him and you're going to give an account. There's going to not be no more riding with your friends anymore in working jobs. You're going to stand before God and your life here is going to be over with. What's done is done when you die, sir. When you die without salvation, you go to hell. And hell is forever. Hell is a place for those who die without God. You want nothing to do with God, St. Cloud, Minnesota? There is a place that God has specifically designed for all those who don't want nothing to do with God. And it is called hell, my friends. And we don't want you to go to hell. We want you to come to the Lord Jesus Christ while you are still alive. But don't play games because time is running out. The clock is ticking down. It is appointed once for man to die. And then after that, the judgment. It is appointed once for man to die. And then after that, the judgment. It is appointed once where you're going to breathe your last breath and you will stand before God. And sir, I see you on the phone over there. You video in the preaching. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. But make sure your heart is right with the Lord. Don't play games with your soul because there is a day of accountability coming for you. Make sure your heart is right with God. Make sure you are departing, departing from a life of iniquity, my friends. The Bible says that those who name the name of Christ, they must depart from a life of iniquity. You must depart from your life of sin. Recognize that you have been living in rebellion and humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and turn to the 
Lord with all your heart. Render your heart unto God in sincere humility. Come to the Lord and lay hold of the mercy seat of God. If not, my friend, you are going to die in your sins and you are going to go to hell. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All have sinned and broken God's law. All have done something that has brought judgment upon their heads. For there is no one righteous. No, not no one. Righteousness only comes through the Lord Jesus Christ. Righteousness only comes through the grace of God that is given to the one that humbles themselves and sincerely repents. Repent and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out and that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. You must repent and turn away from your life of iniquity. You must repent and turn to God. We have the angry man that is back again. Sir, you need deliverance. Sir, you need to get your heart right with God. You have a wicked and angry heart, sir. And you need to come to the Lord so that you can get that heart fixed, sir. You got a dirty heart for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And sir, you need to get right with the Lord. Come to God and stop being angry. You're mad and angry because people hurt you. We have a lot of people that are hurt in this world. They are full of bitterness. They are full of anger. They are angry at God because of their ignorance. And actually the Bible says that God overlooks ignorance now and he commands all men everywhere to repent because he has appointed a day of judgment where he is going to judge each and every soul in righteousness through his son Jesus. So God is not holding ignorance as an excuse no more. My friend, you got to get right with God. There will be no excuses on the day of judgment. And although when you talk to people about salvation, they have every excuse in the book. They say, oh, I don't want God. I got to go to work. Oh, I don't want that Bible stuff. I don't want that religion. My friend, I'm telling you today that if you do not come to the Lord and really sincerely render your heart, you are going to go to hell. You are going to spend an eternity in hell and if you if you got any sense in your mind today you would do some serious thinking about what you're going to do with your life because death is coming for you there is a day coming where you're not going to be here and you're going to bear your judgment if you reject the salvation of God Jesus Christ he came and he died for the sins of the world so that you can be forgiven but you got to be willing to repent you got to be willing to come to the Lord. You don't have to be afraid of the sickness in the world. Come to the Lord and find salvation for your soul. You ain't got to walk around and let fear dominate you. You can come to God and get born again. Sir, if you are not born again by the water and the spirit, you will not enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus said that you must be born again. Jesus said that if a man is not born again, they will not enter into the kingdom of God. All that hollering and being angry at the preachers, that's not going to help you one bit. Your religion, it won't save you on the day of judgment. The Virgin Mary, she can't mediate for you between God and man. You got to come to Jesus for there is only one mediator between God and man and that is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ gave his life up as a ransom to be testified in due time. But you must be willing to come to the Lord and you got to lay hold of what Christ did for you on the cross. You have to be willing to humble yourself, confess the Lord Jesus Christ and repent and believe the gospel. That if you confess the Lord Jesus Christ with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart one believes on the righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. God is wanting you to render your heart because there is a day of judgment coming. And if you do not have salvation, if you have not humbled yourself, you are going to die in your sins and you're going to go to hell. You're going to bear your judgment. This is what awaits each and every person at the end of their life. 
And while everybody's still alive right now, they have a chance to get right with God, but time is running out. You don't live forever. There's a day of accountability coming. There's a day when you're going to die. There's a day when you're going to stand before God. Be ye reconciled to God today. Be ye reconciled to God today. and Come to the Lord and get right with God while there's still time. Repent and believe the gospel.